Hey there guys, Tim here from Canada Tech TV. So today's video is gonna be about how to hook different things up to your projector. So believe it or not, I get a lot of questions about how to actually hook up, say like a DVD player, Roku, something like that to your projector. So if you guys are real tech savvy, this probably isn't gonna be one for you, but if you just got a projector, and you're unfamiliar with how to hook something up to it, or maybe you're upgrading from an old TV and you got a projector now. So this is gonna go over how to hook up, say like a computer, gaming system, something like that to your projector, and then you'll be ready to go with it. So usually you're gonna have a couple options. You're basically gonna have HDMI ports, and then you're gonna have VGA ports on there. The VGA, kind of like with some computer monitors and things like that, you're basically gonna be transporting over just the video onto the projector. So it's not gonna pick up sound. So if you're hooking up your laptop to your projector and it's just VGA, then you are going to have picture, but you're going to have no audio. So if you are using a VGA cable or that's all you've got, then number one, an HDMI cable is probably gonna be a better option, but say you're using a device that doesn't have HDMI on it, so like maybe an older laptop or something like that, basically what you can do is use that VGA and go VGA from your laptop to the projector, and then that is gonna give you your, your picture, but then you're not gonna have audio. So for audio, so the best thing to do is gonna be to use an aux cable from that device that you're hooking up to your projector. So say it's a computer, and just hook up into the headphone jack an aux cable and hook it up to a speaker and then just kind of have the sound play out of another speaker. Otherwise, if you've got an HDMI cable, you're good to go. The HDMI cable is gonna support the video as well as the audio. So it's gonna just transfer both over and all it is is as simple as hooking up the HDMI cable to the projector and then to your other device. Now, the only thing you're gonna need to be sure to do is on your projector, if you've got multiple inputs, then you're basically gonna have to just go into the actual input menu or hit the button and basically make sure that you're on the correct setting. So if it has two HDMIs, you're gonna make sure that you're on HDMI 1 or HDMI 2. If you're using like, say like a USB input, you wanna make sure that you're on the USB in order to actually see your correct stuff popping up on the screen there. So there's also a cable that is a VGA to HDMI, so that will help support some of the older devices that don't have HDMI ports on them, but that is still only gonna bring over your video, so you're still not gonna have sound. But the way you can basically think of this is anything that you could hook up to your TV and display on your TV, for the most part, you can hook it up to your projector. Just think of your projector as a TV that's just being cast somewhere. So you can hook up your computer, you can do basically gaming on it, you can hook up a Roku and stream services like Netflix and Hulu and things like that. And depending on the quality of your projector, especially if you've got one that's maybe like a 720 or up, you can basically use it as well for business type things. So you can use it for PowerPoint and Word, surfing the web, things like that, especially when you're up there at the 1080p range where text and things like that are gonna look a lot more crisp. Now the HDMI cable will put the sound over to your projector so that the sound will play through your projector speakers. But if you really wanna upgrade your sound quality, you can use an aux cable and just hook that up to that little headphone jack on the projector and then hook that up to an external speaker and that will really, really upgrade the sound quality. So I did a whole video on that. So that'll be popping up over here as well if you wanna look a little bit more in depth at that. And the other thing to mention is when you do hook up, say your laptop to your projector, you have a few different settings and those can basically be changed by the actual laptop. So if you go into your display options, typically if you click on the bottom right corner on a Windows computer, you can choose for projecting and you can choose to either duplicate your display, which means it'll show up on both your computer and the projector. You can extend your display, which will allow you to have basically an extra screen where you can drag things from your computer onto the projector screen, or you can just do the second screen only which that's gonna make your computer screen black, or you can even just close your laptop up and then everything will be just up on the projector screen. So that's something you can also do and it gives you a few other options to kind of navigate. But yeah, it's fairly simple to hook up anything to your projector. If you have any other questions, let me know down there below in the comments. But I've used it to hook up like for a watch party for say Game of Thrones, watching movies. You can, like I said, hook up a speaker and you can play music and movies and things like that with much, much better sound quality. But it's really cool too. You can 
can also game, uh, put up a Nintendo Classic, you can hook up your PlayStation, your Xbox, and things like that. So it's really cool because with an HDMI cable, that's really just simple to hook up pretty much anything nowadays. And it's pretty cool because like I said, you can treat it as a TV. Anything you do on your TV, you can pretty much do on the projector as well. And it's a pretty easy setup. But if you're looking at projectors, I have a whole budget projector playlist on my channel here. So I'll put that up at the end here. It'll be popping up in a box right over here next to me. I'd also love for you to hit that subscribe button if you like this kind of content. And if you want to see more stuff like this coming out, I do projector reviews, earbuds, headphones, speakers, things like that. So I'm also going to be doing a few camera reviews coming up. Love for you to hit that subscribe button. Like this video if you found it all helpful. And until next time, guys, you take care.